year one and welcome to our English lesson. Make sure you have something to write with and something to write on. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. Now, today our learning objective is to understand new vocabulary. We are going to identify new vocabulary, explore it and apply it in our work. But first, let's look at that word, vocabulary. Your turn. Vocabulary. What is the first phoneme, the first sound? V. That's right, the letter V makes the phoneme V. Vocabulary. Now, let's clap it in syllables. Vocabulary. Your turn. Vocabulary. How many syllables are there? Five syllables. Well done. Now, what kind of word is vocabulary? Vocabulary is a what word. It's a noun. But what does that mean? Vocabulary it are the words used in the English language. That's what it means. Words used in the English language. Now, let's think of other related words, similar words. We have words like words is a related word. Phrases. Phrases are short sentences. They are part of the vocabulary. Now, I didn't draw a picture to help me remember it. I took a picture of our word wall. So our word wall have the words from our story. This is the new vocabulary. Now, I want you to go and find someone in your house and tell them the words five times. Vocabulary, 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 vocabulary. Go. All right, let's use our new word in a sentence. I am learning new vocabulary from Barry the Fish with Fingers story. We, that's what we're going to be doing today. Learn lots of new words. Now, Barry the Fish with Fingers by Sue Hendra. This is our new class text. In your daily email, you have got the link of the story read to you. And you have got the book in your home learning pack. Pause this video and make sure that you read the story before carrying on. And come back when you're ready. Now, what is in red? Puffy is a puffer fish who is good at blowing bubbles. Barry is no ordinary fish. He has ten glittery fingers. The fish are hiding in the seaweeds. Hmm, what words are in red? It, it is new vocabulary from our story. Puffer, bubbles, ordinary, fingers, seaweeds. They are words from our story. Vocabulary are words used in the English language. And this is a picture of our new word wall in Kent class. I'm going to read the words once, then you can pause the video and go through it with someone in your house. So from the top, we have knitting, chasing, covered, side, tickle, tickling, finger painting, painting, cutting, sulked, pointed, bury the fish with fingers, a whale of a time, back right at the top, sea caves, seabed, seashells, Shadow, seaweed, rumbling noise, crate, bubbles, puffer fish. This is the vocabulary of Barry the fish with fingers. Pause the video and go through the word wall again. Now, spot the new vocabulary from our story. Puffy can blow many different bubbles. Write the word. Bubbles, that's right, bubbles was our new word. Well done, and here it is highlighted in green on our word wall. Next one. Spot the new vocabulary from our story. Barry can do finger painting. And the word was finger painting. Well done, and here it is in yellow on our word wall. Finger painting is a what doing verb is an action. This is what he's doing. Next one. Oh, what is vocabulary? Word used in the English language. Vocabulary. Spot the new vocabulary from our story. 
all of the fish enjoyed hiding in a green seaweed. Hmm, what word is on our word wall? It was seaweed. That's right, here it is, highlighting in green on our word wall. Seaweed, it's a noun, it's a thing. Vocabulary, word used in the English language. Next one, spot the new vocabulary from our story. Puffy silk on his own. Hmm. Our word was sulked. That's right. He is sulk. He was sulking all on his own. That's a new word from our word wall. Vocabulary, word, words using the English language. One more. Spot the new vocabulary from our story. A huge crate fell in the water. The word was crate. That's right. Here is a crate on our word wall. Let's move on. Vocabulary, words used in the English language. Now, let's explore what some of our new vocabulary mean. A puffer fish is a fish which puffs up when it feels threatened under attack. A crate is a very large wooden box. Now, pause the video and go over those definitions with someone in your house. Next one. Which picture matches the word crate? Is it A, B or C? It is B. Well done. A crate is a very large wooden box. Let's explore some more words. Seaweed is a type of plant that grows in the sea or in water. A trumpet is a musical instrument that can be played by blowing in it. Pause the video and check what it means again. Next job. Trumpet. Which picture the, matches the word? Is it A, B or C? It is C. Well done. A trumpet is a musical instrument that can be played by blowing in it. And on a picture we can see Puffy, the puffer fish, is playing the trumpet. What's vocabulary? Words used in the English language. Let's explore some more words. Sulked is the past tense of sulk. It means you are disappointed or bad-tempered. Like we can see Puffy here was sulking on his own because no one wanted to see his blowing bubble show. A whale of a time is a phrase that means having lots of fun and a great time. I'm having a whale of a time. Pause the video and have a look at what it means again. Which pictures matches the word? Whale of a time. It's a phrase, a short sentence. Is it A, B or C? It was B. Well done. A whale of a time is a phrase that means having lots of fun and a great time. I know in it there is the word whale, but we're not talking about the animal. It means having lots of fun. Vocabulary, words used in the English language. Now, what picture would you draw for puffer fish? Pause the video and draw me a picture. That's right, a puffer fish. It puffs up when he's under attack. It doesn't have any scales. It has got poisonous spines and they're very sharp. Now, let's explore again some of the words. Puffer fish is a fish that pops up when it feels threatened. Seaweed is a plant that grows in the sea. Which picture would you draw for seaweed? Pause the video and draw me a picture. That's right, a seaweed is a plant that grows in water. Vocabulary, words used in the English language. Now, let's apply our knowledge of the new vocabulary. Which definition matches a whale of a time? Which definition? So what does it mean? Is it A, a fish which puffs up when it feels threatened? Or B, a phrase that means having lots of fun and a great time? A or B? 
It is B. Well done. A whale of a time having lots of fun in a great time. Next one. Which definitions, definition sorry, matches trumpet? Is it A. A very large wooden box. B. A musical instrument that can be played by blowing in it. Or C. A type of plant that grows in a sea. It was B. Well done. A musical instrument that can be played by blowing in it. What's vocabulary? Words used in the English language. Which definition matches salt? Soak. It means you are disappointed or bad tempered. B. It means having lots of fun in a great time. Or C. A fish which puffs up when it feels threatened. It was A. You're right. It means you are disappointed and quite bad tempered. Look at the little girl's face. She is not a happy bunny, is she? Vocabulary, words used in the English language. Now, in your home learning pack, you have got this worksheet. You need to look at the words and either draw the picture or write the definition or maybe actually work out what the word is. So you can pause the video, fill in the worksheet and you can replay the video to double check. Now, challenge. What is the word? We have got our word wall. I'm going to give you a clue and then you can write down the word. A. I am the past tense of point. B. I am at the bottom of the sea. C. I am a very loud noise. Pause the video, go through the word wall and come back to check your answers. Our answers were, I am the past tense of point, it's pointed. That's right, it's got the suffix ed at the end of point, pointed. B, I am the bottom of the sea. It was a seabed, right at the bottom is the seabed. And C, I am a very loud noise. It was rumbling noise. When the crate fell in the water, he made a rumbling noise. Well done, year one. You have worked incredibly hard today. You remember, you can replay the video and go through, through some of our definitions. Well done, year one. Bye.